Many of you don't realize that you are the healing at the sheep gate. Remember when Jesus went up to Jerusalem and, and he was there and it was a, a, a great number of people that was disabled, you know, and, and, and they used to lie. And it was just all these people that were there that were blind and the lame and the paralyzed and the ones who has been invalid for 38 some years. But remember the one man who was overcome by people pushing him. He couldn't never get in there and, and so forth. And, and Jesus healed him, but he didn't know who Jesus was. Right? And Jesus told him, pick up your mat and go. See, some of you don't realize that Jesus has saved you and healed you. But see, some of us forget and we go back. We backslide or we revisit our past or we forget about what Jesus done. So we go back into the world and we start doing worldly things. And But see, I want to take you to one scripture that will show you something. And it says... And when Jesus later found him at the temple, he said to him, this is the, the man that he has healed. Remember, he didn't know who Jesus was, right? Because Jesus fled and, you know, they tried to capture him, right? Many of you know the story, right? And then this is Jesus. He said, see that you are well again. I see that you're well again. The key word, I see that you're well again, right? Meaning that you are well. You're able to see that, like, you know, he's healed you, right? Then Jesus says, stop sinning or something worse may happen to you. What do you think Jesus is saying? He is saying that once you are healed, and if you go back, now that sin is going to triple and it's going to double and it's going to affect you way worse than what it did before. So let me give you an example. If you're out there fornicate, you know, and you're going around and you just having a good old jolly time, but, but, before that happened, you know, Jesus saved you. You didn't get no STI and you know what I mean? And by the grace of God, you didn't get no herpes and none of that stuff, right? He healed you from that. And now, you know, you you walking with the Lord. You're not even about trying to go and mess with all these women. You bypassed it all. And then all of a sudden you revisit it and now you start sleeping around again. Well, guess what? You're going to end up with a lifelong conditioning, meaning you're going to end up with that herpes. Meaning you're going to be burning down here. Meaning you're going to have syphilis. Meaning that all these things are going to occur and it's going to affect you. Because you went back and did the same things that you did before. See, when you get healed, you have to leave that stuff on. When you get saved, you cannot go back and revisit. Because when the Lord hands off of you, oh my God, you best believe that punishment, that whooping is about to come. And you're about to feel the wrath like you never did before. So this is a warning to you all right here to tell you that when you get healed, stick to that healing. Because the next time it may not be so great.